Behind. But they sure don't give much. Did he ever pay for anything? $2.99 buffet. Next, Jenny Jones, are these players with women to spare? A thousand women. And some of these is the next victims. Or losers who just lost their way. Repent! Repent! Randy MC call said they want their chain back. Watch us bust these bozos. Lie detector results in my hand. Oh, okay. come on. Next, Jenny Jones. All right, now take a look at some of the guys on today's show, kind of walking their walk, okay? See? Notice the cool stride, the confidence in their step, the arrogance in their walk, maybe? Well, here's the deal. These guys say they strut like this for one reason. They are players. And they say the playing as many as eight women at a time has gotten them the bling bling, gifts like BMWs, Range Rovers, cash on demand. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Do you think it's possible? Do you want to meet the guys? Here they are, come on out, players. All right, well, today, uh, the friends and family members of these so-called players say these guys aren't exactly bling-bling and they're dream-dreaming. So we put them to our uh, player polygraph, and today we're going to find out who's front and who's really lying, who's really living large. So they all took lie detector tests. We'll get the results coming up. Our first guest says his brother-in-law and his friend claim that together they've played 350 women, okay? His name is Calvin. He says that is not possible, not with the cheesy outfits these guys wear. First, let's meet Calvin, everybody. Here's Calvin. What's up, Jenny? Hey, what's going on? I, look, that player playing this, I'm not feeling it, y'all. These brothers that's oh, coming out. This is not... Oh, come on. They broke down no, you're, the player. You're, you're doing this they got to show guy. me something better. No, wait, you, you're the guy, you're complaining about them, right? You're not the guy, you're, you shouldn't be booing this guy. This is the good guy. This is the good guy. <laughs> Look, I'm not no real hater. You're so fast to judge. I'm just not feeling what they say. We're talking about they, they your, not, they not talking showing about me your enough. brother-in-law, right? Beg your your brother-in-law, what's his name? Goldie Mac. Goldie Mac. What, 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 what? Goldie what's his, Mac. And, and what's his friend's name? The 70s. His friend's name is Seville, right? Seville. And between them... 350, 400 women, how many? I don't feel it. I can't see it. Well, Goldie Mac and Seville say they spend uh, like $1,000 a day in limousines, but they're not paying the tab. All the ladies are paying. Here are Goldie Mac and Seville. If you play your Over 200 women this guy Yo, has played. I'm from New York. I'm here to represent New York. I'm telling you straight up right now. Yeah. Yo, honey, 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 check this out. I'll take your welfare check. It ain't no problem. Word up. No, then. Look, look, look. I see failure all the way, and I'm from VA. That's not talking to me. <laughs> you talking to me? Nah, 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 sweetie, nah. You your friend Kelvin says you've never 15. left Queens. He says you've never even left Queens. I right picked you up like in a you. limousine, man. What happened? Limousine? On a, on, what on happened? A, on a trip when to came, Chicago. Oh, no, when you came to New York, did when, me when, 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 pick when, you up in a limousine? When I came to New York. Right. Did we pick but you, you up in a limousine? You have plenty of limousines. Let me show you what a day in the life was like for these guys. Watch this videotape. Yo, I'm Goldie Mac. My name's Seville. We yeah. gonna show you how it's done, how real players do it. We're gonna show you the day in the life of a player. Right now, we're getting ourselves together. You know, you gotta make sure your hair is right, smelling good, you know what I'm saying? You're clean, your fingers are well manicured, all that. You gotta make them girls if you're stinking, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure the limo's there on time, because yeah. the girls will meet me in front of the hotel. As long as my girl don't find out, I'm gonna tell the girl I lost my credit card. She's gonna have to pay for everything. You know how we That's do it. Style, kid. They just give it to me. I ain't even got to ask for it. I just like all women. As long as they got a job, they got some money, some stocks and bonds, anything. She gonna buy me a fur coat, a car, 
whatever, whatever. You know, it's just a gift. It just comes natural. I don't ask them for it. They just volunteer, and I'm not going to turn it down. Neither would you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Now, if they don't have money, I'm not going to push the issue. But if I go on McDonald's and I get a free Big Mac, that everything, that's all good. All that's good. Me, how my mommy? Man, where the sisters at? Man, they ain't even nothing to choose from out here. Stop, stop, stop. Stop right here. Stop. Excuse me. Come here for a second. Hey, hey, let me ask you. Oh, man. Come on. I want to find somebody to take back to the hotel in there. Yeah, I'm one of that Chinese girl, but she kept going. You know what I'm saying? Because she thought you was going to mug her ass. No, I didn't get to, I didn't get to meet her at all. Thought, hold on, you going to mug me. Don't Yo, think. Yo, there are absolutely no women in this city. I can't find none. All the ones I see are ugly, they fat, they just not to my liking, not to my standard. Yo, I heard piffing ain't easy, but damn, they must all be at work or something. But when we get to the Jenny Joe show, we're going to show you our maximum skills. Goldie Mac, okay? Yeah, your ex-wife gave you, what, $30,000? Oh, over that. You got a custom-made $18,000 Rolex. Oh, yeah. True, huh? true, true. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You the hater. Let me ask you a question. Did you ever see me with a white gold 18-carat Rolex? Tell the truth, my brother. Tell the truth. 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 Tell the Mug somebody? Uh, Let me show you. We'll show you uh, on tape from. here. We got a little uh, play a profile on what, on what Goldie it. Max got. $30,000 from the ex-wife, $18,000 custom Rolex, Range Rover, Mercedes, Trans Am, BMW, trips to Puerto Rico, to the Bahamas. Huh? Okay. Okay, here's Seville. $5,000 savings bond, $1,000 from one woman. Sheepskin coat, expensive clothes, a Pontiac J200. I have... How much money? Because when, when you guys when you guys first came in, we, we were told there was like a million dollars between no, the no, two no, of no. you. It was only a hundred thousand. It's only a hundred thousand because you took a lie detector test, right? Uh huh. A <laughs> hundred thousand. This is for severe. First off, your ears look like you're about to fly away. Oh, and second oh, of all, oh, you oh, look oh, like oh, a fake oh, ass job. Oh, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll take your wig check. You can send your wick check in the mail, darling. Goldie yeah. Mac, what's your game? What, how do, what do you hey, say to women? Say this out, Jenny. It's no game. You know what I'm saying? It's just something natural. I don't go Let me tell you something. I don't go out there and try to find a female just to get money from her. Females just give me things. And I'm not, you hey, just baby, walk into on, a, You right just walk into a store. If somebody wanted to give you something, you're going to take it, right? right I don't ask a woman for nothing. They just give it to me. Why do they, and I'm why they, they want to give everything well, to you? I don't know. It's just a gift. We actually have three people backstage who say they know who's Mackin' and they know who's Slack, and we like to call them the, the Juice Jury. First member of our Juice Jury must have game because he's a favorite here at the show. Please welcome Ruth Jones! What's up, Jenny? Hey, Jude. Jude's, Jude can tell when a guy's a real player, right? Are you a player, Jude? No, I ain't no player. Girls hate me. Girls hate you. <laughs> our second judge is hot. She's sexy. She's our very own Valerie Makita. I just want to say that Jude told me he's not wearing any underwear today. That Thank you for true. telling us that. Then move over, Mac Daddy, yeah. because he's the biggest Mac of them all. Take a look up there from Chicago's own radio station. T103, here's Tornado. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Hey, been, what's up with y'all? You've been watching Goldie and Seville back there? I, I was listening to Yogi and Boo Boo. I was listening to them back there. I listened to them. I listened to them. I listened to them. I, to I know, you know, oh, and what God. got me is when they told me they was in the limousine. You know, anybody, limousine, $10 now. <laughs> Knock it off, man. So what do you think, it's, Valerie? It's players? No. It's just so obvious because any guy who's going to have so much fur and too much jewelry and too much attitude is obviously making up for the fact that they don't have too much in front in their oh, pants. Now, 
Now, now on, the, on, on the same scale now, once again, well, I bet it's a lady in the audience that likes one of them guys. Oh, hell yeah. Huh? See that? What I tell you? Oh, well, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You like Seville? Which? Uh... I like Goldie Mac. Thank but you, you ain't top notch, sweetheart. You, you, I mean, you got a face like a Studebaker. Oh, sit down. For real. He can play him. Straight well, up. Well, I just want to buy him a few more gold teeth, like at the bottom. He's All right. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Let's see your oh, votes. Let me see your votes. And you look like right. Donnie. Are these guys uh, no. dreaming? Oh, 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 Goldie Mac and Sonoma. Are they dreaming or scheming? All right up, man. They're dreaming. All right up. This we'll see how the lie detectors oh. test come out, because they made a lot of claims, you know. Like you guys got, say you got free trips to the Bahamas and stuff. We'll find out. Our next guest has a friend who calls himself the king. And this guy apparently lies about women giving him cash, designer clothes. But first, let's meet this friend. His name is Frank. Come on out, Frank. Whoa! Player, this is their friend. This is a friend. This is sure. a friend. This is his friend. I can't wait to see his damn partner. <laughs> okay. right, your friend's name is the key. Calls himself the king. The king. The king. What is he claiming that you that you're questioning? This guy claims that he is the biggest baddest of it all. What does he look like? Chris Farley and Pee Wee Herman mixed in one. Okay. There you go. Anthony, who calls himself. King says he's a real? big bad baller. He claims girls want to get with him so much they'll steal clothes for him. He says once a girl even spent thirty dollars on a bottle of cologne just for him. I King here is Anthony. Y'all don't know me. How many women? How many women? Seriously, have you are you have you played or are you playing? Right now, He's two. A, two. Ooh. Two. Okay. Hey, I'm a. Okay, you just guys can't compete with you, right? They can't. Nobody got no game for me. Okay. What what is it about you? Why why do all these women want no you? Game. King. Why do they all want so you? I'm the true play hitter. But I ain't no hitter though. Hey, if you're such a player, you should have had your woman buy you some new boots. If you've seen Temptation Island, you're gonna love this little vignette we what? call Temptation Crib, featuring Anthony. Welcome to Temptation Crib, the new voyeuristic show that takes you into the lives of three very fine honeys who are involved in serious relationships with men. Today, we are going to tempt the hell out of these ladies in an attempt to get them to cheat on their loved ones. Temp -temp Temptation Crib. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Temptation Crib, where the ultimate player has to possess the maddest playing skills to get over with the females. And if you don't possess these mad playing skills, you will be eliminated. Let's meet our first contestant tomorrow. And so I will warn you, we will kick you out of the crib. Don't worry about it, I ain't gonna throw nope. them Ladies and gentlemen, it's us. How you doing? Come into my crib, take a seat. King is in the house. What was your name? King Kurt. Get it right. King. The king. The crown. The king. Uh, oops. I spilled some water on you. Now you got to take those off and slip into mine. Girl, why don't you get with me? I retire more ladies from Social Security. Ah, damn, girl. Save that for later. How about you, Sandra Bullock? Want to take a ride on my bus? Only if you drive me down to Mayberry for the reunion, Opie Cunningham. <laughs> No. Where you going? Temptation Crib. I'm so sure. More like Temptation Shad. The last time I answered a classified ass. Let's get out of here. That's all right. I know y'all be back. I'll be sitting here waiting for y'all. This guy is playing women. According, to, he's going to back this up with a lie detector. Apparently, here's the kind of stuff he's getting: three fifty in clothing, Michael Jordan cologne for thirty bucks, socks forty dollars, four hundred in cash. Oh, where are they from? Hey, I'm the from. Get it? I don't know. Okay, you have uh, Jordan cologne. What are, you, what are you doing for these women, Anthony? I'm giving them the pleasure dome. You said you don't kiss the or hug them. The pleasure dome. 
I'll take him to the Pleasure Dome. Yeah. Your Pleasure Dome is your place, right? The reason for this is, is because the 15-year-old girls can't afford anything else but a pair of socks. And, and so, he's and so, only, he's only 18. Right. He's How only that 18. 15 when I'm playing a 32-year-old right from? now? That's what I want to He calls 32. himself Monster Love because he claims to have been with over 1,000 women. Oh. Want to take a peek at Monster Love? Huh? Here. Okay. Oh. Now, what would you do? <laughs> If you were Monster Love's steady girlfriend, well, she's here, and we'll talk to them both when we come out. You actually lecture about this in colleges? Right. As a player? Right. I detect the results in my hand. Oh, okay. come on. Oh, my God. Is this I never said that. I never I don't said believe that. that. I, I, Guess says she knows her boyfriend has been playing hundreds of other women, but she says that's okay because whatever cash he gets from these girls pays for her manicures, her pedicures, and her clothes. Here is Trina. Oh, I think you need help. Go, honey. Hey, Jenny, how are you? Why are you going out with him? I don't know. I think it's a lot of He's playing. Thing, how many little... women is he playing? Like um, a lot of them, because I know he, he quite claims few. a thousand women. It could be more than that. <laughs> what does he call himself? Monster Love. Monster Love. Monster Love. Okay, well, Monster Love is backstage, and he says, "Quote: I'm West Side cracking and Bedside macking." I'm not sure what that means, but I know I'm going to find out. Here is Eddie, also known as Monster Love. <laughs> You paying them in hamburgers? Hey, dog, what's that? Taco meat on your You paying them in hamburgers? <laughs> Cracked up, Jenny Craig. Okay. All right. What's happening? All right. Yeah, okay. what's up? Come on. How many women? A thousand women? That's right, baby. A thousand women? That's right. Here's uh, Eddie's vignette. Check it out. This is Monster Love. This is Player 101. And my playing skills has got me world fame from Staten Island to Vancouver, BC, baby. Yo, and the class has just begun. Check it out. Lesson number one. Being a big old player like me. You gotta understand these ladies. Understanding is the key. Understanding emotionally, socially, physically. Then they'll love you like me. Lesson two, keeping it real with them. I let all my ladies know about my rotation of ladies. So, hey, yo, that's a two player. Lesson number three, and your final lesson is communication. I let the ladies know what I need emotionally, financially, and I give them what they need. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yes. I, I have a completely serious question for Trina. That, that's if the you're, brace for him right If you're there, complaining yeah. that he's doing this, why are you letting him get away with it? Because I mean, at the same time, he's taking care of me. Just like complaining that Trina takes care of me, so why. it doesn't really matter. That's Trina, right. you don't really care. You don't care if he's no, really a thousand don't. women. That's right. He keeps mm. coming back to you. Sorry that. Right? Exactly. Sorry okay. that. Low and sale. You, you're so I'm good at it. Eddie, you're so good. You actually... Monster love to you, Jenny. You actually lecture about this in colleges? No, I lectured about my life, though. About your life? Right. As a player? Right. Okay, because you... Because this is That's the kind right. of stuff... Let me Get show you on tape here. Some of the stuff that... Uh, That's right. Eddie says he's getting. $3,000 down payment on a Mustang, a $500 watch computer, a big screen TV, stereo and Three car up. stereo, $60,000 in cash? Word. From a 1,000 women, right? All right, so... What okay. do you want to know from him today? What do you want to know from him? Um, you I basically know... kind of know everything. You think you're the one he loves? Oh, I know I am. In the in the thousand women, huh? Oh, uh, see, in the thousand women, where does she come in with the thousand women? Is she like in the top hundred, top yeah. ten? Yeah, number one, baby. Number one. Let me see your guys vote. What's your vote on uh, Eddie? Oh. On Eddie Monster really Love? Oh. Not going well. That's right, dog. Not going That's well. right, dog. Right. You. Give it up, right baby. There. You West Side cracker. Let me introduce uh, our next. Martin, he says his friend Jim claims to be a true player, but Martin says his 24-year-old friend's player skills are so bad, he even got dissed trying to pick up 14-year-olds at the roller rink. So you're saying he can't get a woman at nobody. He just can't get anybody, right? Well, Jenny, he lives with his grandmother, and he's like almost 25 years old. All right. And he uses the lamest pickup lines like, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Oh, that's the big pickup uh, line, right? 
he claims to look like what, what famous person? Uh, Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. Really? He, Does he? He looks, he looks more like a pudgy Conan O'Brien. Okay, like Conan O'Brien, okay. Bring well, Jim out. likes to call himself a sophisticated suburban okay. player. Okay. Here's one of Jim's best pickup yeah. lines, by the way. What's up, ladies? You know you love Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys, but if you can't have the real thing, come and get a little of Jim. I'll make all your fantasies come true. Being these suburban sophisticates. Oh, tons. Tons? One, two, three. <laughs> Fifteen. Sixteen. Yeah, you know it. You know, Martin says you couldn't get any action if you were in jail. He just says you just in jail. He's wearing orange, Jenny. He's oh. wearing orange, okay? What are you getting from these women? Seriously. Can I Oh, uh, clothes. I got a pay trip to Florida. Pay um, trip to Florida. Let me CDs. show you. Let me show you some of this stuff on this little play of profile we got. Okay. Jim is getting two thousand in clothing, pay trip to Florida, car payments camcorder, flat screen computer monitor, fossil watch, cell phone payments, numerous dinners, like $1,000 in dinners, $6,500 worth of stuff from women. And what are they getting from you for that? Whatever they want, Jenny. You, you're, you're claiming 70 women, right? Cell phone. Um, did you come on to Martin's... No. That's not, no, you say not I'll true. How many girls in your little black book? Uh, 300 plus. There's a woman backstage who you, uh, you played, right? Yeah. You know, she's gonna come out here, right? right? Uh -huh. She says that she wouldn't exactly call this guy a sophisticated suburban player. She'd rather call him a lying, stinky, wet dog. Oh. I think we're about to experience a player-hater moment. Come on up, Casey. <laughs> You are such a dog. Such a dog. No good. How long did you go out? Uh, about four months. Four months? And yeah. what, did, what did it cost you? Oh, about $1,700 worth. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Did he, oh, you got played. Yeah. Did he ever pay for anything? Did he ever pay for a like a... $2.99 buffet. A $2.99 buffet? Yeah, that's, that's all it. you got out of that's it? That's it. He's that's a dog. Why did you give him He's all that? He's a dog. I, so I don't why? know. Well, why did you give him all that? I don't know. You don't know. No, you bought him a no, watch, clothes. You paid for all the dinners. Yeah, right? everything. How did it? How did it end? How did it end? Yeah. Quit calling. What? Why did you give me that? What tornado? Yeah. No, I was just gonna say she a damn fool. Yeah, you stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You dumb as hell. I had yeah. to hey, y'all say it looked like he come out the back street. Hey, hey. boy, I don't know. Hey. I don't know. I'll get hurt by you a treadmill, buddy. You better a treadmill for you. Uh, right. Okay, Jim. Hey, park it, park it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Has a question. He thinks that you were hitting on his fiance, were you? She wishes I was. So I you didn't. Ever. You didn't. She wouldn't okay. have you. It's all gonna get backed up with lie detector tests. When we come back, we've all heard of guys what keeping did? girls' names and phone numbers in low black book. But up next, you're gonna meet a guy who keeps highly detailed notes about the women he slept with. He calls it his whole Bible. We'll be right back. Player, get it now like the play. Get it down like the play. Spin around like the play. You are a player. Did you actually date Goldie Mack? Who did? Oh, I know you. I know you. I detect the results in my hand. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Is this I never said, I never I said that. Is your overdeveloped teen daughter obsessed with sex? Does she stay out all night and brag about the number of guys she's been with? If your overdeveloped teen daughter is obsessed with sex, call 1-800-203-2799. You think it's fun watching? Your name should be Campbell because you are mm -mm good. You should see it live. To attend a free taping, call 312-836-9485. Well, our next guest, Andrew, says when a girl broke his heart, he decided he'd never get hurt again by playing as many women as he could. He hopes to play 100 girls by his 21st birthday. He's up to 84, and he's 20 years old. Let's get him out here. Here's Andrew. If you want to play, you
provides a service just like Blockbuster. Huh? Exactly, Jenny. <laughs> go it. home happy. That's it? Jenny, so, how, and you've been up, what, what Valerie? The only way he's playing 80, 84 women is, is online in a chat room. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way. Matter of fact, Jenny, thanks to you, I got 85 last night. Thanks to you, you 85? I, I hit 85 last night. It went from 84 to 85 last yeah, night? Yeah, in one night. I have your... Uh, what you call your hoe Bible. Yes, Jenny. Okay? You're the I only woman the, that has touched it, Jenny, so be privileged. I looked so it before the show. There is not one line. You have all these women marked in here. There's not one line I could possibly read on national television, <laughs> okay? You got pictures. You got all the women and what you did and how they were. And you and... So there is some backup that you have in with all these women, right? Exactly. Okay. So there's 85 women out there that's watching your show right now that knows what I've done to them. And they're happy to see me they, once again. This is very disrespectful. I mean, the way you talk, you don't, you talk about they're chicks to you, right, or hoes? Basically. No, they're women. I'll tell you the truth. You know, women are women. Game? They how need come, love. How come they're all coming to you? What's your game? Game? Uh -huh. Game? She said, "What's your game?" She, what she mean is what you do to get them. Look, milk dud, you need to sit down and be quiet. Up. That was that what it mean. That what it mean. Milk dud. Uh, he called me milk dud. My game, Jenny. <laughs> That way right you are, game, your dream. damn game is Dreamcast. That's you your damn you game. <laughs> That's your damn game. Dreamcast. You said you PlayStation. Get, you get if I would have known he'd be on the show, I'd have bought him a Twinkie or something. I, I mean, right. come on. All right, uh, here's the deal. Uh, okay. Hey, they ain't look like y'all. You, you, you get butt ugly girls, Dude, basically, you exactly. said, right? Why do you prefer a butt ugly girl? Well, basically, that they're, they're easy. Ugly ass. The, so you're doing this because you got, you got hurt by a woman, is that yes. it? Somebody a woman out there has hurt my feelings, and she, she knows who she you, is. Man. His mama and so now him. you're paying her back by getting all this stuff. That's tornado. You behave yourself. Take a look at the profile. This is what uh, Andrew is getting. 3,500 from different women. A 78 Impala bought by a woman. 3,000 in clothing. $3,000 worth of jewelry. $12,000. Exactly. And you're not done yet. Did you I just get, barely, you get last I barely night? began, Jenny. I'm in my prime. This next Mac expert says these guys can move over because he is the man. He's got 52 women that want him at any time of the day or night. He calls himself DJ Domination. Here he is. If you a player, get it now like a player. Get it down like a player. Spit it around like a player. If you a player, like a player. If you a player, get it down like a player. Get it down like a player. Spit it around like a player. If you a player, get it now like a player. Get it down 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 you out here. But you, 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 you brought women with you. That's how that's how good you are. You know when when I touch down in Chicago, you know, go, I gotta so, see how Chicago do it. You're from Miami. I'm you're from, from Miami. Miami. You really are a DJ. Huh? You are you are a real DJ. Right, that's correct. You you are what, 52 women that, that 52 women that want you. Right? No, 52 women in my stable. This guy here, I know this guy personally from Florida. He's all right. He's straight. I'm telling you, the DJ, I'm telling you. He really is a DJ. He, I'm telling you. I'm okay. telling you. Y'all don't look at him. Huh? Put him on the table. No, he's actually going to. You're going to see. Yeah, he's actually, you actually are going to show us what you do in a little bit, Give right? Give me a second. But when we come back, he says he's playing four women right now, but his friend says there's a correction. I'm here to let you guys know my boy Paul is not a player. He hasn't dated four women at once. He's dated one girl who's the size of four women. One time we were at McDonald's and Paul was ordering some food, and the girl he was with ordered a one through ten and supersized it. My boy Paul ain't a player. He's a faker. We'll hear their story next. Thank you. Did you have an affair with your lover's brother, and now you're uncertain which man fathered your baby? Do you want a DNA test, two brothers, to find out which is the father? If you want a paternity test, two brothers, to find out which one is your child's father, call 1-800-203-2799. Only the lie detector can tell if they've been cheating. First of all, she is a liar. Time for the moment of truth on Jenny Jones. Wednesday. We're doing a lie detector test today. If you know someone who claims to be a player and you're questioning, uh, give us a call, 312-832-4180. Our next guest is Javi. Now, he says his friend Paul brags about getting free trips, suits, thousands in cash by smooth-talking all these honeys. But Javi says, if Paul's doing so well with the ladies, why is he still working at Kinko's? <laughs> well, he has a job, though, yeah, right? Yeah, he does. The girls that he does get, you don't, you don't think they look so good, right? They're all right. A lot of them have a lot of facial hair and stuff like that. <laughs> but they're okay. 
Maybe he's into that. You know, yeah, he is. So you're saying basically the women don't look good, the ones no, that he gets no, don't look no. good. Paul says after a few minutes with him, girls just hand okay, over the yeah, ATM golden. cards and the booty. This is Paul, everybody, here he is. You a player, get it now like a player, get it now. promise to never ever do that again that was god awful i'm leaving man for real that What's was that? garbage no no come on come back no Jim. dead dead oh, i'm going <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> all right so, all right paul paul What's yeah. the deal? Do you agree? Do the girls you get all have facial hair? That's what your friend said. No, I'm a friend. He like he likes to hate a lot. He can't get with too much. So Jenny, Jenny, I have a question. How yeah. come you're not in jail right now? How come I'm not in jail right now? Because it's a crime to look that beautiful. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Example A. You see what I'm saying? A man like that is gonna try to hate. I can't help. I thought I thought you said he was a bad player. Huh? I thought he was, he, was, he was a bad player. No, the, bad, the bad pickup line. <laughs> you know, you aren't, every time we do a show like this, uh, you know, somebody's always like, make a little move. You know, Anthony gave me a little, you gave me a little, uh, like a pin there in the dressing room, like from the Super Bowl. I looked at the pin closely. It was from Southwest Airlines. Yeah! Excuse me, Jenny. Jenny. It was a free pin from me? you. We right. focus on the man right now. It's on me. Lights on me, right? Who's your Let's focus on here. Let me, show, let me show you what Paul's Who's getting. Take a look at this. Saw. This is what you're getting from all these women that you're playing, right? Half the cost of your laptop computer, 50 stuffed animals, electric shaver, hair clippers, bowling equipment, 2,000 in cash, trip to Santa Monica, 300 bucks. Santa right? Barbara. Oh, Santa Barbara. That's where I'm flying Santa after this Barbara. show. Sometimes what happens is people just want to be on TV and they kind of make stuff up. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Tell me if you think they're, because if, if they're fake, we're throwing them off the show. Are you, are they fake? No, they're, come on, man. Come on, man. How you going to tell me all these people? Sorry. We don't buy it. We don't buy it. We don't buy it. Back with a lie detector test right after this. Oh, hey, by the way, before we go to break, DJ Domination, yeah. are you going to do a little something for us? Can you show us what you do? Come He's on, got man. more than just player skills. Why don't you show us what you do? Okay. Well, take us to break with uh, kind of an unusual way of uh, doing this DJ stuff. I got faith in him. Watch what I tell you. I, I told you I know the boy. I know yeah. the boy. From Miami, Florida, here's DJ Domination. Now watch it. Come on, the job. Listen to the job. Is your overdeveloped teen daughter obsessed with sex? Does she stay out all night and brag about the number of guys she's been with? If your overdeveloped teen daughter is obsessed with sex, call 1-800-203-2799. Lie detector results in my hand. Goldie Mac, you ready? Say something. What? Because I, I don't want nobody to get the wrong impression, right? I'm not a pimp to the point that I would prostitute a woman, because I think that's foul. I would not do that. I respect women to the utmost. I don't do nothing to a woman that she doesn't want done. He's getting nervous because he knows his results are coming. He's trying to distract us. You know what? I got to read your results. I'm going to give you, like, say, three questions here that you did. One, when, Goldie, when uh, Goldie Mac said he went on a trip to the Bahamas paid for by a woman, he admitted that he didn't. No, no, no. Because he didn't want to come I back told him the trip to the Bahamas was not paid for by a woman. I said I didn't go to the Bahamas paid for by a woman. I said Sit Puerto Rico. Ass down. That's what they say about Puerto Rico. Hold on. Back boy, back boy. Sit your ass down. Back boy, you get your chance. Yeah. Hold on. Here's Ask the the right. Puerto Rico, There's more to that man. question. When he, when he said that he went on a trip paid by a woman to Puerto Rico, he passed. 
I want to pay for him to go to Puerto Rico. Keep going. Keep straightening, Jenny. When he's... <laughs> See, originally they said that combined between the two of them, they had played like women for a million dollars. I know you guys said that it was less than that, but uh, you actually failed that part. Oh, I never said, I never I said that. I, I didn't ask, she didn't ask me that question on a lie detector. I told her, don't ask me that, because that is not the truth. When Goldie said that he and Seville combined played women for a total of $1 million, he admitted that they didn't. You didn't tell her that wasn't true? I didn't know. She didn't you ask me that question that on a lie detector. I told her, I said, I didn't get that amount of money from women. I said, in my lifetime, that I personally well, that's what you said. You spent didn't at least $500,000. But the point that's is, you said that it. yesterday. But you said a million dollars between you both. OK, said whatever, Jenny. Okay? And then you came in. Keep going with my test results. Okay. Keep going with my test results, When Jenny. Goldie said that he's had sexual relations with at least 200 women, he failed that, too. Oh, come on. No, 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 Savelle, when Savelle said combined, he and Goldie played women for a total of $1 million, he failed. He said that he's had sexual relations with 150 women, he failed that too. No, no. get out of here. No, Jenny, no. She said 100. The king, Anthony the king. No, 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 no. The king. No, Jenny. I'm leaving. Don't be I, to to go. Me? I heard you were talking about me after I left the green room, is that true? Just keep... What'd this. you say about me after yeah, I left the green room? Everybody's talking. I was like... I'm the only one that gave you something called being nice. You gave me the pin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Audience, you guys think this guy can really mac? Anybody? Oh, find anybody? Out. Come on! No, when the king no, says that he's no. gotten $400 from women, he admitted that he had not. So you told her that wasn't true. When the king said he's had four sexual relations with women, he passed that. That's the truth. They've been with four women. Woo. Okay? Whoa. I'll just be kidding. You're oh. 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 Monster oh. Love. Oh. Oh. Monster Love is ready. When Monster Love said he's had sexual relations with a thousand women, right? That's right, baby. You failed. So set up, Jenny. Oh. Set up. Set up. You set up. Oh, you, didn't tell you know the real, baby. Trina, you know the real. You know the real. Trina, you should be happy so about set up. that. When asked if he you has real, sex baby. with the women, Trina, you might want to know. When asked if he has sex with women who give him gifts, he admitted that he does. Mm. So, Trina, that's not good news for you. No, when not. Monster Love said he loved yeah. Trina, does he tell you he loves you? Because he said he loves you, and he failed. Because you know the real, boy. Shut up. She's just trying to make it juicy. She's just trying to make it good. Mwah. Try that. <laughs> Try that. Trina? Oh, my God. Is he still, are you still going to be with him? Use a buster. Huh? Use a buster. Probably so, Use a yeah. buster. OK, Jim. Use a buster. Jim is next. When Jim said he did not hit on Martin's fiance, remember you said you do you wish? You failed that. You did hit on a fiance. When Jim said he's had sexual relations with and seven oh women failed. Failed. When Andrew said women have bought him three thousand dollars in clothes, he failed. When Andrew said women have given him thirty five hundred in cash and, and uh, three thousand in jewelry, he failed. When Andrew said he's had sexual relations with 84 women, he passed that one. <laughs> he passed that one. 85, Jenny. When we come back, he's an original Mac Daddy, and his proof is in a book. He's the author of The Art of Mac and Tariq yeah, K. Flex cool. Nasheed when we come back. These guys may think they wrote the book on being a player, but this next guest did. He is the author. His name is uh, Tariq K. Flex Nasheed. He wrote a book called The Art of Mac, and he says a real Mac isn't flashy. He doesn't need to be. Here is Tariq. If you were a player, get it now. Hi, Tariq. What's up, player? Uh, What's up, family? Let me, What's up, let me make this clear. Pop you're your not, collar. You're, uh, Pop your you're, collar. Not a you're not a player. I'm a true Mac. There's a, true a difference. Mac. There's a difference What's between a, difference? a player, a Mac, and a pimp. Okay. And we have to differentiate between that. A player is a person who's sexually motivated. A pimp is a person who's financially motivated. But a Mac is a person who's knowledge and power motivated. And when you have knowledge and power, you have that option to get sex and money at your disposal. You feel me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Jenny! I agree. Jenny! Hi. Jenny, mm -hmm. notice when he talks, he has the hand movement with that to express every word that he's trying to say to you. <laughs> <laughs>
There you go. So, so what's your take on some of our guys here today? Some like... of these guys, you know, they got the right idea, but a lot of them have the slot machine mentality. You know what I'm saying? If you go to Vegas and keep on playing the slot machine, you might jackpot every now and then. You know what I'm saying? But the, the, the key mm -hmm. to the game is to have a, a technique where you get the same results every time. You know what I'm saying? That's what a true Mac will do. You use strategy instead of luck. Preach, boy. Okay. Preach. So, Five so, results. <laughs> so do you, have you ever had, like, just a steady girlfriend or a woman in your life? Or? Well, well, you know, I'm not too big on relationships. See, I have understandings. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Because, yeah. you know, and the reason why, yeah, you feel me? I stand by my theory. Uh, you, can, you can call yeah. it what you want, but, but it still reason, is but, You know, Jenny, a lot of people don't need to be in relationships because a woman might date a man because he's tricking off a little rent money. So to justify that, she'll build a relationship around it. Do you have a job? Man, my job is the game, you know what I'm saying? I work for the game. I respect the game, Tornado. and the game respects me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once again, it's a lady in the audience that'll go for this. But it's yeah. nothing to go for, because I'm being, at least I'm being real. You know what I'm saying? I heard there was a lady in the audience that dated Goldie Mac. Somebody, did you actually date Goldie Mac? Who did? Huh? Nobody wants to admit it now? Did it's you, a lady. What? Is your name Philip? Is your name Philip? Are you, is your name Philip? Oh, yeah. Oh. We want to thank all of our guests, and if you're thinking about trying to come on the show with a fake story, you're taking your chances. You will get thrown off the show on national TV, so I wouldn't try it. I want to thank Diane Robinson so much for doing our lie detector test, and uh, thanks to uh, DJ Domination for uh, being a great guest and doing a great performance. We're going to have pictures of all our uh, players on our website in the photo file section. You can also vote online for who you think was a real player or not a real player. And of course, thanks to our judges, Valerie, Tornado, and Rude Jude. Thank you all for being here. And you don't mind, I know we call you Rude Jude, but uh, that's actually the name of your website, isn't it? What's that? Your website? Yes, it's uh, rudejude.com. Okay, and uh, what's on your website if people go there? Well, I have, it's, I give advice to people that need advice. Well, thanks a lot. And you guys were girls. great. Valerie, thank you. For Tornado, thank you very much. For the fellas. Thanks, everybody. Yeah.